in this video i am going to show you how you can use hazura's authentication api first of all you need to log in to the hazura account for which i have set it up the local environment first i will run this command on the terminal it will return me with an url by clicking which i can enter the console and it will also provide me the login username and password it just takes a while because a virtual machine is started wait for a while while it is loading So now you can see that I have gotten the link about which I was talking. The system kind of gets slowed down after you run this because uh, a virtual machine of about 2 GB of size is running in the background and since my laptop is just of 4 GB really slows it down here you can see I'm opening the link well it it takes a bit time to start it. You need to keep on refreshing it. And once the page opens up, you will be required to use this username and password. So let me copy it first.
see that the console is loading. Here they are asking for username and password and you need to put the same as you have gotten in the terminal. So click on login. If you go to the auth and user management you will see that Click on database management. Well, it is taking a lot of time, I must say. Anyway, it's worth the wait. When you see its usefulness, you'll surely feel so. gets fully stabilized I would like to introduce you to the app called postman so that I can make requests to the authentication API for signing up logging in signing out and all postman is the best tool to work with APIs Anyway, you can use curl, terminal, as well as insomnia, but I prefer postman. Another reason is that it's totally made in India. As you can see, this system really gets slowed down, so make sure to work with one thing at a time. I wanted to go to the auth and user management part so that I can show you the end point to which you need to make the request. Since it is not opening but since I remember the end point so I am just clicking it directly in the postman. You will see that the end point to which you should make the request is this auth.c100.hasura.me slash sign up. Here you need to write the body for it. Make sure that it is raw and the format is JSON. Let me create a new user and write it in the JSON format. The first part mandatorily takes two arguments that is username and password. The username I am keeping it as let's say Anything X Y Z. And the password is let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or whatever. When I make request to this endpoint, you'll see that it is returning me with the authorizing token. This is the token that is required for validating my session. Let me take a screenshot of this part. The system has really slowed it down a lot. Anyway, it's all right. Where has the screenshot gone?
get to make it here. Yeah, fine. So you can see that I have gotten the authorization token. You need to copy it so that for any further request that you make in the future, you will be required to use this token only. Now I'll make request to the endpoint login. Here the things that will be required are you need to make it post first then go to the body part make it raw and the type to json so what were your username and password the username was uh, xyz and the password was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and here you need to make the request of the authorization token and where you will put it in the header part go to the authorization page and you will get it right here bearer and then paste the token now you are ready to make the login request Username XYZ Oh, it was up to 9 I put it up to 8 9 So you can see that It's logged in With the author token this one Now if I want to Let me take another screenshot Now, if I want to check the check the details of the user that has just logged in, I will need to use this endpoint. User slash account slash info. You need to make it of type post. The authorization token is this one. Put it in the header part. And hence, you can see all the details. The username was this, the mobile number wasn't provided. Let me take a screenshot. Well, after these have been made, if you want to log out, you just need to make a request to this endpoint. Let me show it in another tab. make this part user slash logout and in the header as you know it should be the token Make it a post request, and you will see the message that it's logged out. Hence, it's finally done, and so you can see. The effectiveness of this API. Now, if you want to see it over here, you can see that all 
all these was done uh, I just couldn't show you the part oh yeah yeah so you can finally see that, that this user was made by me the XYZ you can see the time and all so all this I have made using postman you can use girl even so this was the basic working of authentication API of Hasura thank you